So we are on day two of our winch install, making this officially the most complicated $300 winch installation out there. Yeah, that's right, two days. Okay, after looking at the instructions, <laughs> which you never should do, <laughs> just messes you up, you know, nah. These, yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> don't need those things. Anyway, I don't know if you see it. On the bottom of this winch is where you attach this ground wire. Us not knowing that, that there's a nut under there that we have to put a ground wire on. We've secured the winch to the bumper and then tried to wire it. So uh, we're gonna zip those four bolts off the bottom and uh, see if we can get that loose. That way we, we can pick it up, we're gonna attach the wires to it and then immediately bolt it back down after we tighten the wire, after we tighten it back up. And we should be able to get on with the, uh, with the install. So it appears that all of these nuts on this particular winch are 13 millimeters. So we're gonna just run the impact on her and tighten her up. Okay, ground, it's not going anywhere. It all feels very familiar. You're gonna have to line that, that nut up and all the holes, the winch is probably gonna have to move. Unless you're perfect. It's good? Yeah. Okay. Dang. That's surprising. It's not surprising once you've done it, you know, twice already. <laughs> Since you didn't didn't know that we were supposed to hook the cables up first, this is all your fault. Oh, my fault, huh? You're, you're putting the winch on. <laughs> okay. What's up? <laughs> is that all of them? Yep. Now remember, you tighten these down, and if we get stuck, this those bolts are what's holding the winch to the Jeep to get us out of the hole. So are you confident they're tight enough? I'm confident. Okay, good. So now that we've gotten the uh, the negative cable hooked up to the bottom of the winch, which none of us knew about, we've bolted the winch back down, and uh, now we got to tighten up these on the top, and we've got to run this positive lead to the battery. There's a, a little block that goes in the in the in line with it, but this needs to run to the battery. We lined our three up last night. They're color coded, and we got the bolts and nuts on those guys. So we just have to tighten them up this morning. Hey, buddy. Come on. No more loud noise. Come on. The people want to see you. They are not cute. Say hi. They are cute. Hey, buddy. Proud puppy. Yes. Look at him. Good boy. Got my bike. Okay. Now you see the boots that are on here? Mm -hmm. They are not just for pretty colors. They will pull down and you want to completely cover everything that's metal with the boot. And while she's doing that, you can come over and see that on the winch, they tell you exactly how you're supposed to use this. So what you're supposed to do is read a book, unfasten your seatbelt, and then listen to a record <laughs> before operating the winch. Okay. <laughs> I guess, I don't know if that's... Next for the thing we need to do is route these guys. And what I'm aiming to do, we're gonna try for first routing, since we have no idea what we're doing here. There is a body mount, you can probably see it right under here. There's a body mount like right under the headlight. You see that? I don't know what I'm looking at. Yep. See the spacer right here? Yep. Okay. That's a body mount. What we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to tuck our cables in inside the body mount and run along and then snake up toward the bottom of the battery box. So first we're gonna to try to get both of these cables under the grill and on the inside of that battery mount. 
Okay, keep going. I got it. Just keep going. Oh, now we have a putty tat. All of the furry friends are going. Hello, Harley. Ain't you pretty? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the air box out so that we have plenty of room. But we're gonna run those up. We're either gonna run under or around the air box, around the fuse panel here. And then we're gonna try to get in between here and hook up to the battery. Pull up. Pull. You know what? That was the front one. Yeah, pull. Come on, honey, you got it. I had a tiger. You're not alive yet. You know dun, 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 The eye of the tiger. That was a gross mutilation of a. Shut up. It worked, obviously. Perfect. Bring it on up. Okay. Bring these guys in here. This is the other fun part is uh, there are no preset instructions because there are no like vehicle specific winches. So it's kind of a crap shoot under the hood. Everybody's looks different. You have to find your, devise your own maze. Find your own line. <laughs> find your own line, there you go. <laughs> now that we got all that stuffed in, I'm gonna stick the airbox box back in. Just make sure you get it on there. Yep. You see how the holes lined up here and here? Yep. Okay. Now there's a flat headed screwdriver. Tighten this guy up so that it doesn't come off when we'll suck water in our engine. And again, I've said it once, I'll say it a million times, whoever invented flat-headed screws should be drawn, quartered, slowly burned. Every mechanic in the world will agree with me. There you go, perfect. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna attach our circuit breaker onto the uh, positive lead of the battery. So while you're doing this, don't touch this, it'll spark. So. Okay. And again, remember that negative. Once you touch it once, you will remember it for life. Again, watch that negative. Ratchet on one side, wrench on the other, does not matter. Again, do not touch the negative battery cable. Now you're scaring me. It will spark, so just don't touch it. Okay. And watch your left hand. Don't want to touch the negative side. Will it shock me? It will, it will have a nice firework spark effect. It'll scare the bejesus out of you. Okay, so we got our circuit breaker just down in there. Stick that on. Very good. Crank her away, and again, just avoid that. But can you get another turn? Just to make sure. There you go, good and snug. Yep, just like that. Okay, well the only thing we got left is our uh, negative cable here, which we have Right it up under the air box around the, the side here. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda do a curly Q deal like this and hook him up something like that. It's kind of much chewy, is it? Take that guy off. You're not funny. <laughs> not funny at all. I thought it was hilarious. Please like and subscribe if you thought that was hilarious. <laughs> For more bad dad jokes, <laughs> subscribe. This is the, uh, actually what you're undoing is this is the ground wire that goes over to our uh, our uh, switch panel for the lights. So we're just gonna piggyback on the back of it. There you go. Now we're gonna stick this guy on. Just gonna go right there. Got it started, stick the wrench on her. Come 
bench the cranking. Okay, well, is that on there? Yeah, that's snug. Only thing now to do is grab the cable and uh, give her a test fire. Let's see how that works. We're gonna test the winch that we just put on Thumper.